Hello again, this is Johan. Um, I've done some extra work on my brother's sword. This is a uh, Gadial sword that I made as a Christmas present actually. I made him uh, a scabbard for it. I made the sword first, uh, I think a year and a half ago, and then I made him this scabbard for Christmas. Yes, But it w didn't look quite like this then. It was lighter trade, uh, red leather, and um, uh, I thought I'd, it was time to finish it now. So I waxed it. It's uh, four four layers of wax, four times, and uh, I can show you what it looks like. This is rather nice. Rather nice A little belt thing I made for it. As you can see, it's I stuck it in there. This is a sword and a belt. This type of belting is actually the same as you can see on Sancho the Fourth uh, sword. Uh, he was king of Castile, twelve ninety until twelve ninety eight or something. Anyway, uh, Oakshot made this famous because he had uh, one of his uh, better known books. Actually, had uh, this, so the sword that had this first on uh, on its, I think the first page on the cover. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, it's got a nice uniform dark color here. Used to be sort of bright red. Uh, and uh, this looks a little aged, or actually, what it is is it's got protection now from from uh, moisture, like this. So really nice, really nice guy. But I'll, I'll show you how it works actually. Okay, so if you got lamp lamp side to the side, you can do this. It doesn't come out like this but it's quite easy to draw anyway you can see here what it looks like there like that and you have the sword the belt and the scabbard all in one I'll try to keep this a little more steady. It's got two tongues that goes into these two loops. And this you tie around your waist and it sits uh, like a, a western, you know, like a western holster. It becomes part of your body. And uh, you can also slide it up and down a little if you want it further up or a little further down. Uh, you can also take these apart, they're not attached to each other. Yeah, this is just a loop, like a Z. You can see here on the other side, it's like this, like that. You can see the seam here also. Okay, Type X blade. This is the gadget I made from uh, this is a uh, Hanway Tinkline sharp sword, uh, sword blade. And I, uh, I put, I made all these belly fittings myself. It's got a really nice balance, and it's a little lighter than my Viking sword, my other Viking sword. They, these swords were around in Viking times and up until uh, maybe the 1300s, actually. So it's well, they were used for a very long time historically. Anyway, that's all about the sword. So let's do a little quick thing here. I have. Um, the scabbard I was working on here, the little seat actually for, for the viking knife. As you can see here, I've done the perforation work here on this side, and I made some nice lines. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got edge lining like this, and you see the holes for the rivets. And you can also see here, I don't know if it's visible, but you can see the edge lining here. I should polish this a bit more, I'll, I'll, I'll need to buff this up a bit 
uh, take away a few scratches here from from when I shaped it earlier. You see the curve here, like this, just like in in the finds in the museum in uh, the State Historical Museum in Stockholm. It's a little. The original knife is actually mm, not as wide as this. It's two thirds, or maybe half as wide. The same thickness of the ridge and everything, about the same length. Um, you've seen the, the the blade before, so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. It's not finished. It's gonna have three rings: one there, one there, and another one here, and the little clamps here, and uh, and then three straps that are covered with. Uh, brass loops, or bronze, they should be bronze actually, and going into ring, and this one will be attached to a belt. But I haven't made the belt yet. I have all the fittings for it though. But I haven't made the belt yet. Okay, these. This would be really late Viking Age, uh, or early medieval sword, and uh, typical Viking Age, late Viking Age, uh, uh, sax weapon sacks or, or you know large knife all right thank you very much for watching welcome back again